Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy Nuts and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the that March difficulty. Today, as I promised in the previous episode, we're gonna do the Reason of State quest in which will uh, help out in the plot to kill King Radovid. Um, we had to meet, we have to meet in the portside warehouse with uh, Dijkstra, Roach and Taller. And uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So that should be one of the buildings behind this big place here. I think it's over there. So it's actually very ironic since uh, in the previous game we were accused of uh, killing more than one king. And now we're gonna actually help out in a real assassination. Well, an assassination that we ex actually did so another quest started over there but let's do this first there we go there are the conspirators we're all present then up the fucking creek. Why have you summoned us? Radovid's on his ship. We'll not get to him there, I told you. Stop it! I've an idea how to draw him onto dry land. Not but really his idea, course. but... Let's start by confessing our sins. I let Philippa Eilhart in on our plan. May a culpa. Bravo! Bloody bravo! Now, now. It's not a disaster. The Lady Sorceress is highly unlikely to warn the brat. What's more, she's willing to help us kill him. Naturally, it's nothing I'll ever agree to. But Phil, she's inspired me. Call her my muse. Inspired you to do what? And I heard an owl. Patience. We've yet to get to the substance of the matter. Geralt, do I recall correctly that Radovitz hired you to find Philippa? Yes, he did, indeed. That's a really good I idea, actually. Her hideout. What's your point? We can use Philippa without involving her, provided you help. I think she's already involved. Radovid expects you to report to him, bring him information about her. All you need to do is mention her name, intimate that you've a lead, you're on her trail. How oh, he'll swallow that. Hook, line, sinker, and a good bit of the rod as well. Okay. Let's say Radovid bites, what then? Let's say Radovid bites, believes me, and none of that's a given. Because he's a smart what man. Then? You'll tell him you've found Philippa's hideout, somewhere where we can easily set a trap and ambush. Suggestions? Bridge to Temple Isle, built up both sides, lots of nooks, gates, easy to block off from the rest of the city. That sounds like an excellent that trap. First half on one end, other half on the other, by the gate. And in the middle, Vess, with a well-oiled crossbow. You see, Geralt, all we ask is that you invite Radovid out for a stroll, bring him to the bridge. We'll take care of the rest. So what'll it be? Well, uh, we're in, because we don't want Radovid to rule, and the rest we'll deal with after we're done with that, so there we go. But once it's done, what then? There'll be an uproar in the city. Panic, maybe. Need a place where we can wait it out. Thought of that already. Remember Madame Arena's theatre? Abandoned now, not a soul looks in there. Tala and I will await you there. Okay then, sounds like a plan. Are you willing to risk your own necks? Not the point. Deeks and I have many cocksapping virtues, but fighting ability is just not one of them. Not as fit for that as we are for a bleeding beauty pageant. Don't worry, Geralt. My people are battle-hardened. They'll manage. You just bring them the kid. And Do that we can. will. Where's his ship moored these days? Just around the corner, in Novograd's port. And for your sake, I hope he's in a good mood when And there's Philippa. Because we heard her uh, all the while the uh, conversation was going on, and there she is. Hello, Philippa. They bloody congregate when they see the fighting. If they're paid a tidy sum, they won't. So, let's head outside and see uh, if Philippa has anything to say about that. Because, of course, she was listening. Philippa? 
What the hell are you doing here? Geralt. Yeah, you kind of stick out. To. It makes you look stupid. Okay he then. Was dropping on your conversation naturally, with a good deal of interest and a measure of wonder. Mind telling me what you found puzzling? Your naivety. Do you honestly believe Radovid will fall for such a crude ruse? Um, maybe not easily, but I think I'll manage. Cause he is crazy indeed, but he still thinks pretty rationally. So, uh, I think we'll manage. Might be tough to trick, but I think I'll manage. Hmm. I hope you take a more serious approach to confronting the wild hunt, provided, of course, you survive long enough to undertake it. Wow, Philip. Uh, why even tell me this? Concerned about me that much? Not at all. It's because I think it vital that Radovid die. Okay you then. Want my help, more than pity. But I shall do what I can to make certain you don't fuck it up. Here, take this. A ring. Redanian eagle etched in the ruby. It belonged to Vizimir, Radovid's father. Hand him that, and he may believe you captured me. He might even choose to trust you. Okay. What's the catch? What's the catch? There is none. Philippa, I know you too damn well. Always got a plan. Always got at least two irons in the fire. This time I shall be content with one. Radovid's head planted at its end. Good yeah. luck, Geralt. You'll need it. Wow. That's certainly not suspicious, but hey. Um, she has a point, of course. If we uh, can't convince Radovid, he'll probably kill us on the spot. But... <laughs> Now with that ring, we should be able to convince him rather quickly. And uh, revenge is for her, of course, motive enough to help us out. So that's not really in the question either. So there's the ship, nice and red as always. And the Redanian soldiers all around here are uh, another indication that Radovid is actually in town. So let's see if we can get him off that ship. Now shall we? Because I need to run around a bit, so see you guys there in a second. So we're on the pier, and I think we need to talk to that officer over there, probably. Hello? Witcher Geralt, what do you want? We have news about Philippa Eilhart. An audience. Got new information about Philippa Eilhart. I'll need your weapons. Now follow me. Your Majesty, the Witcher, with news of Philippa Eilhart. Okay, so we need to. I hope you brought something better than Magic deal with this properly. This I know where she is. Perhaps, or perhaps you seek to trick me, like the others. Smart man. What others? Well, we're not going to pry right now because this is a sticky situation. So, we're professionals, so uh, you can trust us. I'm a professional. Got a reputation to uphold. Be stupid of me to come to you empty-handed. A nice ring you might recognize. Rado. My father's ring. Philippa used it to stamp her decrees, then distribute them as the word of the king. Where is she? Under your nose, sire. In Novigrad, in a house on the bridge leading to Temple Isle. Why haven't you brought her to me? Gotta capture someone to take them anywhere. All I did was track her down, then stole this ring as proof that I had. Do you fear her? No. You want to kill her yourself. With your own hands. I know this. You and indeed he wants me. to... Hubrecht, gather the men. How many, sire? All of them. Suffice it to say that this will, uh, obviously be a pretty tough well, fight. Where is she? Where is Philippa? Like I said, house on the bridge, closer to the other end. Close off this end. We need no guests. No innocent bystanders or witnesses. Damian, it's pretty Duke, quiet down Edgar, there. Freak, Caspar, you shall stay here. Secure the rear. 
and kill the Witcher. Okay. Hmm. I don't know where Philippa is exactly, but he'll probably rebuke that with uh, by saying that, well, he'll find her anyway on the bridge. That's how you tank those who serve you. Reward those who serve you. It is how I punish those who irritate me. Oh, great. You too much. You impede me too often. And I find your arrogance an annoyance. Well... I've had men killed for less. Follow me. We'll be very glad when you die. Any last words? Uh, what about fuck oh. you? Fuck! Free the Witcher, then Radovid. Free Radovid? Here we go. Let's go with Igni and turn this whole lot on fire. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your help. Quite Thanks, Roach. So be it. We'll improvise. Follow me, Garrett. We must get to Radovid before reinforcements arrive. And so we will, but we need to be careful because we uh, we're gonna have to take this fight by fight. They're not hard fights, but I need to be careful when using Igni. Because there are explosive barrels on the field. Take him out one by one. There's two shield guys over there. Left. There we go, and now the last one. Ooh -hoo. 
Another crossbow. Let's beat him to a pulp. There we go. Hello, Radovid. You seem to be rather alone. And stuck. Open not that I command you to open the door. Hi, Radovid. You merely to us. Settles the score. Ooh. And that was from the heart. Goodbye, Radovid. Forgive me. I could not deny myself the pleasure. I think we kind of understand. Where? Why? How the fuck? Eavesdropped on us back at the warehouse. What? And you didn't think it worth mentioning? Um... Lads, the time to discuss this is later. What's wrong with Radovid having a sorceress dead. on our side? That is not by whose hand. Mission accomplished. Now let's get the hell away. Place will be thick with Redanians in minutes. It probably let's will go. be. Thank you, Vez. Cause this is not over yet. We still need to deal with the aftermath of well, Radovid's death. Well, is it done? It's it is. Done. Though all did not go according to plan. More on that later. First a stiff drink and a toast. The North. Temeria. Temeria! Bloody Temeria! Okay. Temeria then. Temeria. What now, Roach? A new guerrilla campaign against the Black Ones? No. The war just ended. How's that? There's something I don't know about? I'd say so. You see, tomorrow at noon, the commander of Army Group Center will sign a truce in Amir's name. A truce whose wording we agreed with Dijkstra. So back there in Velen, when the trolls nabbed you? Yes, I was returning from the last round of talks. Amir will keep Edion and Lyria, but in exchange for Radovich Ed and a stop to guerrilla activities, he will withdraw from Temeria, which will become the Empire's vassal state. Self-ruled eternally, with its own courts, administrative structures and army. The silver lilies will bloom neath the rays of the great sun. So I say were I a poet, but I'm not. So all I'll say is there was no other fucking way. Because yeah, now that Radovid is dead, his armies will disperse along with it. And, uh, well, nothing will be able to stop Nilfgaard. So it's better to, uh, well, make truce with them. They're gonna get built, Emir will get his way. <laughs> well, yeah, Roach, you and Nilfgaard, I want to hear that. Roach. You? In league with Nilfgaard? I'm prepared to do anything for Temeria. Even haul myself out. Well, that's putting it if a bit it blunt. Done when tis done, then twere well it were done quickly. That but this blow might be the be-all and end-all here. Hello, Dijkstra. What's that? Vakmeth, Act 1, Scene 7. Always wanted to play that. Never cast as anything but a halberdier. Geralt, what Tala told you, put it out of your mind. There will be no truce with Nilfgaard. Redania, under my enlightened rule, will fight on until it wins. And when it does, it will unite all the North, including Temeria. What? Ow! This is not what we plow and agreed. So you can sense that Instead, we need to uh, make a decision here. Questionable sovereignty, and to recover it, we gave Amir virtually all the North's other kingdoms. It was not a wise arrangement, so no deal. You two-faced horse! I will not allow this. Actually, you, Roach, should be the first to understand. I've no choice. Why the hell would I understand? 
because you too are a patriot. Geralt, this doesn't concern you. You may go. Fare thee well on your path, or whatnot. And now we have a decision to make, and uh, I won't let you kill them. Can't let you kill them, Dijkstra. Oh, hard luck. Then you'll die with them. Because it's uh, a decision between uh, Dijkstra and the rest. As well as between uh, Redania and the like. Let's take care of the archers first. I think there's about seven dudes. And now Dijkstra joins the fight as well. So there we go. Now Dijkstra the only one left with a lot of dudes and one woman smacking him. Goodbye Dijkstra. Because this is a decision with extreme ramifications by the way. Well I'll explain that in a second. That was close. Very close. It's hardly over. The envoy, due to meet the Nilfgaardians tomorrow. No doubt Dijkstra ordered him killed. We'll need to protect him. And so we will. Sorry, you're on your own, I've... You've had your fill of politics, I understand. Once it's over, come to Vizima. You'll be received with honors. Farewell, Wolf. Farewell, Roach. And well, farewell Dijkstra as well, because uh, we just took out Dijkstra along with his uh, nasty plan. So that was actually a decision not only between Dijkstra and uh, Roach and Taller, and Vess of course, but uh, also between letting Dijkstra rule, become the ruler of Temeria, Redania, and eventually everything else because he will be able to defeat Nilfgaard when he gets the chance but uh, um. we chose the peace with Emir over that guerrilla plan and uh, still left the option open to to uh, make Siri Empress by the way but hey that was the reason of state quest we killed Radovid and uh, we killed Dijkstra right along with him so uh, that's about it for this episode. I'm going to take a little break and when we get back we'll probably continue on with final preparations. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already don't forget to give the thought to subscribe to my channel because any uh, new subscription is really really appreciated. And uh, any support really helps out with the channel. So thank you guys again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye.